Bob, how good does it feel to give the fans this kind of a blowout win on the final game of the, the home home stand? Really good season. Glad we put on a good show for them on the last day. Did a lot of good things right today, and you know, 61 sellouts out of 81, <clears throat> it's pretty remarkable. So stayed with it the whole way, even though our season was far from perfect, but they were here every night, and like I said, nice to send them off with a good show. Pretty impressive day for a lot of your guys, but certainly Juan Soto with the diving catch in the first inning to set the tone, and following up that home run, he just yeah. had a great all-around game. Yeah, two really good other plays in, in left field other than that as well, set the tone with the three-run homer. So he's playing some of his, his best baseball here that we've seen him play since he's been here um, and you know that includes the defense right now. How good was Michael Walker today and sometimes it's not easy to face an old team of yours but your thoughts on his effort today? Yeah he's really focused when he takes the mound there's a lot of preparation involved um, surly guy out there that that you know he's he's prepared and everybody feels it when he when he takes the mound and pitches and you know, it's one thing to, to put up the numbers he, d he does and has over the course of his career, but everybody that takes the field with him feels that as well. Wanted to go out for the seventh inning today, wanted to eat up innings, knew how our bullpen was. I mean, we were in a position where we could use some other guys, but those are the kind of guys you want on the mound for your team at any point in time. I know you've been asked this 50 times, but a game like today, right? Like, what does that tell you? Uh, well, I, you know what we've done? We've talked about it some, right? We've we played this game a lot. we played the other game a lot. You know, we just haven't had enough in the middle to where, you know, we've taken advantage of close games, especially here at home with, with our fans engaged. So that's been it. It's been one team or the other, and that's why it's a run differential. That's why it's a one-run games. It's, the, it's been two different teams in two different types of games, and... and how to explain it? I, I wish I could. I've been trying to do it here for, an, for an, almost an entire season now. What was your vantage on Tatis's home run robbery? You know, you won't see a better play than that as far as that play goes. You may see a diving play over the shoulder or whatever, but as far as robbing a home run with the, the height and the, the height of that wall out there, you won't see a better play than that. So that pretty much sums it up for me. And for Tatis to be still doing these kind of things this deep into the season, does that just, in your eyes, kind of solidify his gold glove case? Yeah. I, for me, it's, yeah. He, he, I mean, that, hopefully that's, that's like an exclamation point on, on his case for gold glove. Why was it so important for you to applaud the fans after the game? They've been amazing, regardless. You know, it's, it's, e it's easy to be kind of fair-weathered and then not show up when things aren't going well, but they have the entire season. So it's easy to do. You know, they, they, they do it for us. We should do it for them. Bob, how do you kind of synthesize Fernando's season? A lot of question marks coming in, coming off a of suspension, coming off a couple of right. surgeries, playing a new position, you know, a lot of change in there potentially, and then uh, maybe not the power numbers you'd, he's gotten in a couple of seasons, but, but just what do you think about I think it's, it's been – Fantastic. You know, it's, it's what, it's 25-25 right now. Just as much as far as the surgeries go is, the, is not playing for a year and a half or whatever it is. That's not easy to do to come back and, and put up these types of numbers. It hasn't been, you know, perfect for him. But I think this was a season where he was going to go out there, he was going to play every day as much as he could. He's going to play hard. He's going to play a new position. He's going to be inspired every day. He's done all of that. So I couldn't be more proud of the way he's handled himself. So maybe this could be your last game here. But yeah. like, what have you thought that you're here? Oh, no, I love it. You know, walking off that field today, uh, you know, all the all the fans, you know, gave me a nice standing O and, you know, really showed their support. And, you know, that's nothing new. They've been doing that all year. And so, uh, no, it, it's, it's really a fun place to pitch. And, uh, you know, the atmosphere here has been great all, all season. And, uh, you know, we'll see what happens, I guess. But, uh, no, absolutely love pitching here. Through your vantage point on catch. Yeah, no, I mean, threw that guy a middle middle fastball, and he got got the head out and put a good swing on it. And I was just, I was just hoping it stayed in the track and that he didn't get enough of it. But uh, seeing him go up there and leap, bring it back, uh, you know, that was huge right there. Um, that was a big time play. He's been making big time plays all year for us and uh, battling the sun out there. That right field was a tough spot today. Um, and uh, for him to make that catch uh, really, really got me going for sure.